that morning I had a pain that was a little extraordinary and it just kind of felt funny and it seemed to almost kind of be moving. And I mean, I instantly realized that this is not something that I was accustomed to and getting kind of worse. The sensation was different from anything I'd experienced before. They did a CT scan while I was there and determined that I had at least a slight perforation of my bowel. I first met Trey after he arrived to our inpatient facility. He was diagnosed with diverticulitis. Diverticulitis many times in the acute setting can be managed non-operatively, and that was our plan. During his hospitalization, though, he became sicker. All of a sudden, you know, people come rushing in my room. All I could see was their eyes, and they got down close to me, and it's like, we're taking you to surgery right now. Our team went up and evaluated him and realized that he needed an emergency procedure. The goal of the EGS verification program is to create the infrastructure and the standards to improve those outcomes. I think by having education in place and by having teams in place, we were able to get him to the operating room faster than we would have previously. Having that communication and those shared understandings with the OR team helped us when Trey developed worsening diverticulitis that needed an emergency OR to get him there quickly and efficiently. Emergency journal surgery, patients are contributing to the outcomes that hospitals want to improve. By creating these processes, we can expedite and facilitate their care and improve their ultimate outcome. By creating multidisciplinary committees, we've had better relationships and more open communication with one another. Whether that's when the patient first arrives in the emergency department and communicating with the emergency department nursing, physician, and APP teams, or whether it's our daily communication with the operating room to determine our case order and what the triaging of the surgical cases that day would be. One of the things I personally like about the standards is that they are really built to fit any size or resource hospital. The situation that I went through, the mortality rate was actually very high. Emergency surgery, once again, is not something you anticipate or prepare for. To go into a facility that you know has a record of being able to deal with these type of circumstances, that gives you a sense of well-being. I've recuperated from that surgery very well, healed, so to speak. My grandchildren, I'd like to see them grow up and, you know, I'd like to walk my granddaughter down the aisle someday. There's so many things that we have to live for and the older you get, you realize that uh, every day is truly a gift and the fact that they've given me more days is, I mean, what greater gift can you give somebody? <laughs>